One game all. Sherbini to serve. Lovell. Get a hold of that volley, Alamami, but she's strong around the middle as well. And what an opening rally. El Shabini just caught a little bit and uh, stopped in her tracks there. One look. The hard working rally. Just the sort that Alamami would be pleased about. So that momentum that El Shabini had at the end of game two just been snatched, grabbed away. Completely gone. Oof. Drove to Shabini. You were too close. Yep, does the racket been just a little bit too close to the head of El Hamami? I still thought you were too close. Hand out, one, two. I think in her natural preparation there, her racket hand actually hit the body, the hip of Alamami. I think that was fair enough. Without any sort of excessive turning. Got her there on the hold. She was off Hand to the cross court. El Shabini just struggling Three, to read that one. one. Well, she got away with it. It was a very poorly executed cross court from El Hamami. Not, not wide enough to get out of the volley zone of, of Sherbini. She's got that. Oh, wow. This is, this is phenomenal pace, this Johnny, isn't it? Well, there was the... An opening exchange was... And hard and the mummies just continuously letting El Shabini know that, that she can do rallies like that over and over. Stroke to Shabini. Hand out. Two, three. Timely stroke, I would say, for El Shabini there. Just just to relieve that pressure that was building from El Hamami. Yeah, 3 2 is a very different scoreline than 4 1. El Hamami needs to be careful here. If she does want to up the pace, she needs to make sure that our accuracy is still there. Because Nur El Shabini, as we know, can slot the ball from anywhere. Especially in the middle of the court. What a shot very like well. that, oh. if you don't mind. Initially, she's gone the wrong way. Have a look at this. Alamami was out. tracking the left-hand side, but had Ooh. the strength and power to lunge and then hold that ball straight. Shot of the match so far, Johnny, I Big would say. Ball. Seen a few of those. From that position. Under that much pressure, I think it was phenomenal. No. It's not the follow-up that she wanted. That is definitely not the follow-up. No. It's a bit too excited. Three, yeah. Four. Such a game of fine margins when you're playing El Shabini, isn't it? She does need to be remain positive. That, that drop was on. Just, like you said, just too keen, too eager, to laid in really, really t fine. A 
That's really good width twice in a row from El Hamami. Paying attention to make sure she's getting it off of the volley zone. That one's not. Straight away, she's under pressure. Oh, wow, um, that's out. Not sure that that boast from four, Shabini going four. front right is a wise choice against El Hamami. Well, no, we've seen that straightened strength shot from El Hamami. She is capable of playing the drop from there as well. Exactly, she can create options with a late movement. That last stretch on the right foot, her balance is very, very good, and she's holding her position really well. This is the, that is just unbelievable retrieving again. She was way out of position. No right to win that rally from there. And again, it's on the forehand End side. Up. Second Five, time in this game we've seen. Four. Yeah, down that forehand line for a winner. It's all started from the hold of Shabini. Completely stopped El Hamami in her tracks. And then the ability to then push off and get into that position and hit a perfect line in length. Reversing that pressure straight away. Oh, that's the bottom, Johnny. <laughs> I can see that. And Six, El Shabini four. is a bit rattled. She's definitely rattled by the movement quality that El Mami keeps bringing. The counter-punching of some really high-quality shots from her as well. well. It's also this. She's not had a test like this so far in the tournament whatsoever. Nowhere close. To go back to game two where she had a lot of success and a lot of it came from that again her favorite area that mid to front backhand but she wasn't exposing herself on the right hand side of the court stroke to Shabini. oh she's a hands on her hips but that's definitely a stroke ball just popping into the middle Five, of the court six not much El Shabini can do with that unfortunately well, she's closing the gap in this third game. Good positive uh, affirmations there from El Shabini. Let's see if she can convert that into something now. Really good, those close up. Get a good look at the players, their faces, and just see what's going on before they're about to serve. Oh shaped up to play that one straight and whipped it cross court. She's gotten her twisting and turning all sorts here, El Hamami. Yep, and she got the, the reward for it three times there, Johnny. She's just held the position, held the movement of Nur El Shabini and then cross courted it Seven. and taken her movement away, stopped it in her tracks. That's so hard to do and three times in a row it took to get the winner. And there's a pattern unfolding. She's outgunning Shabini on that forehand side. A lot of her winning plays are being created. What's going on here? Video referee decision on Shabini's appeal. Very quick feat of Alamami trying to get herself out of the way here. El Shabini. Left hand sort of just trapping El Hamami there. The early on. The problem for Alamami is she's instead of sort of moving back and out, away from Shabini, she runs straight into her. She'll be praying that somehow that this might be a let, but this could be a stroke, I feel, Lisa. Yes, well, you're wrong, Johnny. Well, it went El way. Seven. That's what she'd be praying. She must Five. have put her hands together and looked up to the sky and it all came good for her. Well, Johnny, if this was to go to five, who would your money be on? 
Oh, Lisa. You might even be on me. I'm not playing, Johnny. <laughs> Shabini keeps going. That was definitely out. Yeah. Won't matter. Won't matter. Eight. Five. Right now, I think we should focus on whether or not it goes to five because it's going to Oh, that's looking. a cop out. <laughs> Alabama, then. Since you're putting me on the spot. Just based on what we've seen tonight so far. If it goes to five. I think she can win. Well, if it goes to five, Sherbini's won 60% of her five setters in her career. She's won 40 and lost 26, so my money's on Sherbini. And out, six, eight. But we are still in the third game, and it's El Hamami that's got the lead, so we'll see. Yeah, I've jumped the gun too. If El Hamami wins this game, then I'm saying that she's going to win. It's tight. That's danger. It's just danger for El Shabuni. She's put it there again, and she's get she's found wanting in this game more. And one occasion, there's been several occasions. As soon as she's opened herself Six. up there, there's no pace on the ball. Alamami is charging. She's giving it back with a lot of interest. Yeah, it's a shot that she might get away with other players, but certainly not El Hamami. She's pouncing on that every single time. It's, it's just not hit quick enough. And she's doing it from all parts on that right-hand side of the court. We've seen winners coming from the back yes, part as well. Nine, six. Well, she could review if she feels necessary. Pick up. Ball in the back left corner. Sort of came awkwardly out of the neck. First glance, it certainly looked like El Shabini got a racket under it, but have a quick look at it, just to be sure. Ball was called good. Yes, let nine six. I am sorry, Miss Hamami. I can't hear what you're saying. You're giving her three strokes from this position, and yet you didn't give me from this one. Why? That was not the same situation. Nine six. War cry from the Warrior Princess. Hand up. Seven. She's trying Nine. to G herself up. She's trying to find ways to break through the defences of Alamami. Which is like a screen across the court at the moment, if you're El Shabini. Again, this backhand side, a bit over ambitious, Eight. going a little bit Nine. too fine. Well, it's her preferred side, that's for sure. She likes to build patterns of play where she can get opportunities to hit shots like that on that side. She just gave a nod of the head. It was the right shot, she believes. Big point, Johnny. Yes, it's a missed opportunity, Lisa. That's quick 
low kill on the other side there. Alami on the yes leg decision. We're getting a review. the safety element would have to hold there. Safety element, absolutely. She can feel, you can see there's contact on Sherbini's hip. Just after this, there's contact on the hip. So she's just not sure. She doesn't want to hurt her, just a safety let. Is a lead. Yes, lead. Decision upheld. Amami has no reviews remaining. Tell you what, Lisa. Eight, nine, I don't think in any other situation that El Shabini would have stopped and not played that ball. That's that's the cause for concern that El Hamami creates with her movement. Just that tiny bit of uncertainty, then she just backed out of it and said no. Reset. Have another go. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. A huge moment. Well, she's made not played it. Look, it. Made it look so easy. But it's anything but easy. That dip of the shoulder. Looks like she could go cross court or straight. Auto drop. And she played a boast. Locked in. 109 all. Nothing between them. play now both players not holding back she's got it oh it sat up just enough she's still in it oh wow oh my lord it's rally the coverage. match lisa they're not feeling this they're not human because that is an incredible finish to the most important rally of the match at one all, nine all. Hand out. 10 9. El Hamami. Game ball. They both take a breather. And rightfully so. Well, the quality that these two are playing, Johnny, under pressure is phenomenal. And we know Nora Shabini, she's not going to hold back, Lisa, with that score line. It won't. If the shot's on, she's going to play it as if it's just another shot. Oh, that's very accurate. That deep enough got away with it though. Chance. <laughs> Johnny, look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh. Just thought, let's let that one and play out. out because these Ten two are putting on an absolute exhibition points. at the back end of this third game. When you thought that they've been at each other and they've been, it's been torrid, they've just raised the bar once more, raised the quality. Two best rallies almost of the match played back to back. And we are in a tie break. Well, big regroup here for both players mentally. Just taking their time in between that rally. Both players will now have, right. have their review. Well, she's going to use it. Yeah, she has to. She has to. Heavy, no heavy contact here between the bodies. Having a look at this, Lisa. Yeah, El, El Hamami's line is, if you watch from that front view, El Hamami's line is slightly back. You don't see it so well here. 
no lead's been upheld off. No lead decision upheld. Cervini has no reviews remaining. Hand out. 11 10. Game ball. It's going to have to be a good serve. Oh, she got the squeeze. Hand out. 11 all. And the mummy cannot believe that she didn't find a way to just lift that ball off the wall. Again, mid rally, that one forehand cross court, that put Shabini off balance once again. And that's been a pattern that's been developing in this game. And Ella Mami, if she's got time on the forehand, she's putting as much power as she can into that shot. Whether it goes straight or cross court, she's hitting it full blooded, and that's where she's just getting a bit of an advantage. No luck. Yeah, good decision. And it has to be a no let yeah. because of the Mami previous no let we just saw. You've got to hold consistent now here. Let's just, let's just watch the review. Can only be one decision here for me, Lisa, based on what the video ref decided just before. That's minimal interference. No let, decision upheld. Hamami has no reviews remaining. Hand out. 12 all. And on we go. In <laughs> this incredible tie break. These two have just obviously been informed. They've got to hold with the uh, lengthy match time so that the schedule just creates a new record perhaps for semi finals at the Alguna International. Game ball. Well, El Hamam is going to need a throat sweetie after that. <laughs> Yalla. Or a strip salt. Can she convert this opportunity? Yet another one. <gasps> For the court coverage. Oh, wow. The movement of Noura El Shabini is the best I've ever seen it tonight. Oh, I just won too far. It's a Fourth step too far, that one. Oh, Amami. Th Amami if you just look at El Mami there, one. she is, her chest is heaving. And I, don't, I mean, El Shabini, she's living with herself there, but what a brave shot on game ball to play that working boast. And she's requested a new ball as well. So there'll be no softening of the ball. Alamami wants a new one. At 49 minutes, 24 minute absolute monster third game. Alamami has done some serious damage there perhaps. Well, 24 minutes is more like the duration we thought we were going to see in this match. Has that made too much of a dent into Noor El Shabini? Hani El Hamami requesting a new ball, which is a very good tactical decision from her. Noor El Shabini will certainly favour a deader, colder ball with her attacks into the front of the court and the, with the movement of Hani El Hamami. I am sure with this new hot, springy, bouncy ball. Hania El Hamame will look to continue to stretch out Nur El Shabini, who's deciding to sit on the wall very casually rather than her designated seated area. But 
Yeah, her eyes look a bit drawn to me, Lisa. That's just, I mean, and no wonder. There is, you can see that she's battling out there and it's, it's written in her face. The picture tells all the words that you need to, to, you don't need to hear the words, you can see them. I know, but the court coverage that she's doing here, the speed, the length of rallies, this is the biggest test she's had in a very, very long time, maybe even seconds. since the last time these two played in Chicago at the Windy City Open.